Hi, this is Dan for Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny, and I'm here today with the Asus EPC S101. Now, it is in the EPC range, this little stylish uh, netbook here, but it is a little bit more classy than the others. Notice you've got the uh, what they call the champagne finish, which you might only appreciate as brown from there, but it's actually got a very nice sparkly effect. Got the e-branding on top, and as you open it up, it's got a very nice brushed metal kind of finish here. Really nice trackpad and a uh, single bar mouse touch button there as well. Um, it's got a 10.2 inch screen, which for me is really, really nice. It's, it's a netbook size that actually works for me. It's not so small that it completely slips between your legs and you can see it and you can work on it without really hurting yourself, giving yourself a really bad headache. Um, keyboard's not too bad at all. It's got a little webcam on top there. You've got um, VGA port at the back. Uh, Ethernet, power goes in there, plus you've got your Kensington lock bit there. Um, USB there, and then you've got two on this side here, as, as well, of course, as the um, microphone and uh, headphones uh, jack there, too. Um, there is also an SD card reader on the back here, which I didn't notice for a very long time. I'm really not into the idea of so, so much stuff on the back, but um, if you are going to buy it, do bear in mind you've got something there as well. Um, now it boots up at about this kind of speed. Um, you get a 1.6 gigahertz Atom processor, pretty much the same as you get in all the EPCs. Plus, you get your one gigabyte of RAM as well. Um, if you go for the XP version, you also get thrown in a 16 gigabyte SDH card, which I didn't seem to get, despite this one being a XP model. But there you go; it must have slipped out in the previous review. Um, you get 16 gigabytes of solid state storage, and you also get 20 gigabytes of e storage, which is their online uh, service. You get that for 18 months, which isn't too bad. Um, but I think actually there's plenty of storage here for a netbook. Um, has it loaded up yet? Yeah. Now, the problem I have with this, even though it does have a wireless N uh, adapter inside, it didn't work. In this version, it's completely screwed, and I had to go and get an external wireless adapter, which made the thing about twice as long again bit of a shame, watch out for that. Um, it also has not a six cell battery like the other EPCs, but four cell battery. Now you'd think that the power would suffer badly for that, the uh, the battery time, but it doesn't. Actually you do get a good sort of three, three and a half, four hours out of it. Um, also you can squeeze it out a little bit with the various performance modes that you could probably see changing on the front there um, from a high performance, medium performance and a battery saving performance as well. Um, the other thing is, uh, obviously, you do get Bluetooth with it as well, which is pretty good. Um, except I found it quite difficult, or very, um, yeah, a bit, bit difficult to turn that off quite as easily as, as you'd want to to save power. Uh, the major problem, the reason I really wouldn't recommend this laptop, and I wouldn't buy it or touch it with a barge pole personally, uh, is one thing here, and that is this shift key. It's in the wrong place. Um, it should be where the page up key is. So what you end up doing all the time is pressing page up when you pr want to press shift. So actually, you keep moving up lines it is the most frustrating thing I've ever had in a computer. Um, what's more, it'd be nice to have an illuminated keyboard because I've sat in a press conference with this thing and tried to type and the lights go down and you can't really see a thing. So that combined with the shift key uh, brings a lot of woe. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because I think Asus have done quite a nice job with this, the way they've positioned it, the style they've given it. Um, you get a nice carry case with it as well, sort of suede finish. Uh, it comes very well presented with all sorts of things in this box that you probably won't ever get out, like the screen wipe you'll stick under your bed and forget about until it's time to get a new laptop. So it's a bit of a shame that it all comes down to um, one single key that screws it all up, but screw it up, it does. Um, you can buy it if you want for around £440, but like I say, I wouldn't 